apparently I'm being uh, seems I'm to be captured for questioning. Not I sure what that is going to entail. So finish that. We're going to get a small fellowship Did quest to defeat Mirabel. So while you do that, I'm going to jump with safe fault off the edge, so that I don't get a uh, broken leg penalty. And I'm still ahead of you. Um, actually, I'll tell you what. Let's come over here and. and Try and eavesdrop on some of these orcs because they can come out with some pretty hilarious quotes. But the ones near the yeah, siege, siege machine machines, just yeah. south yeah, was, just, was just doing it. Lazy, stupid orcs, move machine or die! What is that one? Stupid, stupid siege engine not go through mud. Only two of you left. What? Started with ten. Stupid orcs, die on the way! There you go. Uh, you think you're the only guy who can do stealth? Yeah, but my stealth is permanent, not 20 seconds, so yeah, if we can have a stealth off. Where did other will pushers go, lazy stupid orcs? Bonk. Oh, I'll get that one up. I like how they, you know, it's like only three orcs left out of ten. It's just like they don't assume that like someone's being like surreptitiously killing them all. <laughs> yeah. It's just par for the course when you're an orc, isn't it? You just like, randomly get killed. L luring them off to the uh, <laughs> luring them off to the bush and then shanking them Shadow of Mordor style. Oh, Shadow of Mordor. I'm, I'm going to have to do that in the playthrough soon. Machine not moving. I, I don't know why I've, I've got off and decided I want to fight these three guys. Particularly because I'm not as tanky as I, I like to think I'm when I'm playing Burger because I'm not on one of my end game Burgers. There's so some I'm, fucking lever of I'm, I'm pretty squishy. Oh, this is, this is not good. <laughs> this is a classic example of what we were talking about. Hips, hips, hips. There we go. Right. So yeah, can't physically see anything. Have you picked it up yet? No, no, I haven't. There we go. So yet. I'll just press delete to target the nearest object, and it's at the bottom of the pond. It's below Perfect. the bottom of the pond. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's in there somewhere. I like how I'm in stealth. You can't really see me, but I'm still making waves, and the orcs still don't, you know, think that's a bit suspicious. Okay, so we're going into this little valley then. Now, this is where some of the tougher mobs live. Uh, but first, though, I have found an ore node outside. I'm just going to prep up battle prep. <laughs> you get started on one of them, we're going to need a few of them. Uh, I think these worry. guys are all signatures. Yeah, the Merivale are signatures, yeah. Yeah, so they are a bit tougher. If you're going one-on-one, -on -one, you may struggle a bit. Yeah, 3.7k more out. They do a fair bit of damage as well. You probably don't want to pull two of them like that unless you've got some backup. Or you're a warden and you can just self heal forever if you bother to do it that way. Who bothers? Just spam surety of death. Jobs are good. So we so need eight of those guys and we also need how many root vegetables? Ten, I think. Yeah, ten. Ten of those. So you can only pick up each of these once, so you will need to get ten different ones rather than just spamming the same ones near the entrance. Ah, nice. I've uh, got a lockbox. Oh, good. Uh, I was about to say good All luck right. then. <laughs> good uh, job. Let, let, let's try the lockbox god then. Da 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 da. Ah, it's 20 sashes, that. which is not really useful. Because you've <laughs> done Evan Dim questing, and as everyone who's done Evan Dim questing knows, you get more than enough XP to, to cap that. Yeah, complete another bollocks. Right, I'm going to CJ this one, we're going to go through the yellow one. Misdirection. Classic, classic misdirection. Bonk, which is the spider. So the, the four colours are, are generally represented as red, the damage one is the end. Yellow, the damage over time is the spider. Uh, green, the hill one is. Eagle. Eagle, and the blue one is the horse for the power restoration. Stallion, from the Fords of Brunian, presumably. Yep. So it's something I talked about in a previous video, but in the um, Fords of Breen in Skirmish, you do actually see the kind of like tidal wave with the horse effect. Yeah, yeah, you do. Which, if you're doing the raid skirmish, you kind of have to lure the trolls into that to debuff them, which is pretty cool. So, half of these Moravals kind of stand about, half of them do patrol around, so keep your eyes open for anything that might walk into you from behind. Evaded! <laughs> <laughs> just slinked to the side and said, not today. 
Didn't hear we shouted and it just <laughs> sidestepped it. Oh yeah, <laughs> that worked. It, it, it had earplugs. Confirmed. Okay, so that's number five. This is number six. Good job, Jimmy. Oh, uh, green. Green. There we go. Rally and cry. Eagle. There we go. That's pretty cool. Grab the vegetables. So we need one it's more veg. It's hard to show off like that the full capabilities of the conjunction system with just the two of us because we're pretty much limited to doing dual, dual colours. So two yeah, red. so depending on how many people in the group that... It, you need a minimum of two people to perform a conjunction and up to six. So if you're in a raid which is two fellowships, the, fel the conjunction only applies to the fellowship that calls the conjunction. Um, but yeah, you can do a sequence of up to six colours. There are set ones. Um, there's there's generally several different types where the, you know everyone picks the same colour. This colour has a weak effect because they're easy to do. There are ones which kind of go clockwise or anti-clockwise around the, the wheel, which is a bit more difficult to pull off to say the least, particularly if you're playing with random players. Well, um, but you, but you do get stronger times? effects for that though, which is the... the how, how many times has someone put Wings of the Wind Lord and how many times have you actually seen it finished? Well, we do that, we do do that quite a lot in Kip. <laughs> just, yeah. just to set hard conjunctions for fun. Yeah, quite often when you've got a hard one, it's, it's normally good practice to say each person does a certain icon in the sequence, so you know, I'd be the first one, how would be the second one, or so on. Yeah, and it generally favours melee over ranged in terms of order. The healer is usually the last guy who's got the Yeah, the healer out. normally goes last because they're normally busy healing people so they can just join in right at the end to minimise their, their kind of downtime of healing. Uh, we're already done, aren't we? But I've got an aggro Yeah, I, I was going to say yeah. we're done, but whatever. I'm just on autopilot mode. Ambush! Boom! Bonk. And then step your order. And then even though you don't really get positional bonuses, I'll turn around so you can stab it in the back so it can't block off. I think we've picked back wages of fear and a couple of other skills. But yeah, you get a couple, yeah. But it's not like burglar where like, every skill gets positional damage. Well, yeah, yeah. Burglar's traditionally like the, the rogue of the uh of this game. Yep. Okay, so I think we might be done. Our oh, goblin's it's treasure, which is further north around the Further again. up, yeah. Might as well do that. And Claws of the Earth, we still need three beaks. We still need a couple of beaks, yeah. Yeah. Uh, actually, first, go back to the Earthkin Scout because he's got a follow-up quest he for us. He does have a follow-up quest if you want to do that one first, yeah. Makes more sense because once you get around to where the, uh, the, where the Goblin Treasure is, it's harder to get back from it because you, you drop off a cliff, don't you? You have to take a bit of a long way back around. You can drop off a cliff, it's not that far around though. Come back up. No, you, you just have to come back round, don't yeah. you, and uh, mow through the Angmar room. So, running back south, just around here, and up the uh, slope again. But this is one quest that you probably would struggle with solo, unless you are playing uh, with really good gear and <laughs> or a warden. As we I, think I, on the, I think I managed it on the Law Master. There we go, Ding 41. Very nice. Uh, I think I managed it on the Lawmaster, but that was a case of go, go in, throw the pet at it, drop everything, and then like, you, run you my life. You certainly need to play to the potential. So you kind yeah. of need to be experienced, at least with the game, if not with the class you're currently playing. Yeah. But you'd, you'd certainly need to bring your A game to do it. This would be something that, yeah, if you were doing this for the first time, you would you know, almost definitely struggle with. Yeah. One, because the first time you do it, your, your gear's pr usually not as well, because your resources are a bit more limited than when you've uh, got multiple level ca uh, characters at cap. Yeah. And just because, yeah, you're just not as familiar with the battle system. Okay, so in here, there's going to be loads of bats, loads of morables. We need to kill basically the boss mob at the back of the cave, that old cliche. M most of the bats will leave us alone. But obviously, you've got the moravale. <laughs> that one's literally just like. hanging from a tiny little twig there. Um... All the Batgirls, though, will get angry. I love that shot. That was beautiful. You still... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright, it's a yo-yo, yo-yo Batgirl. 
Brilliant. I lost count of how many times she did that. Oh, that was a good four or five times, I think. Oh dear. So, someone check and do uh, counting post editing. I'm missing page of Book of the Knives. That's not too bad. Oh dear. Got to love weird little bugs like that. Well, it's, it's like um, doing a conjunction on like an Aurox cow or something like that, and it just starts walking around drunk for five seconds. Well, that's actually an intentional animation, not this bouncing up and down. I mean, if you did it off like this one, for example, I mean, that'd be some serious yo yo. There are quite a lot of places where you've got these bat girls, and I'm thinking of like Condom here, for example. Some of them can be quite hard to spot if you've got like a really high ceiling, so you just be minding your own business and all of a sudden you just get ganked by a few of these dropping off the ceiling. You're going to pull one behind you. I would not be surprised if one is patrolling behind me, but I don't care. Just set the warden away. Uh, whatever. I will bathe in your blood! No, you won't. We're going to bathe in yours. Even though that's disgusting, but whatever. for me. You're not doing quite well at the moment. I'll have to review it after the rando to see how far we've got. Yeah. Okay, so this is the last room then, so we, I guess we sneak around the left hand side because the, the bats probably don't care. But the um, bats want aggro now. So in that back corner, I'm going to have to fight this one, I guess. Sneak in that. that combo up. But at least you are using a more varied um, rotation than I was using because at least you've been playing the Warden quite a bit rather than me just playing it piecemeal here and there and then forgetting half the combos so I just stick to the basics. Uh, hello, yeah. hello. <laughs> Hobbit in danger. You will die for me my sweet. Goddamn stuns that these do. Get, get annoying after a while. Good old the stuns. The mobs are just annoying for the stuns. I mean, late game at the moment is just like, uh, you know, like areas. <laughs> Every look stunned. Yeah. Personally, I hate the wolves though for just like, applying constant slow effects that take forever to time up. You found right. a page of the Night's Watch. Uh, give me a sec whilst I regen up. <laughs> oh, You're not going to have a second to regen. <laughs> oh, that filthy gank. Desolation! Alright, you better start spamming some self heals. Or I could actually be sensible and press greens because you need greens. That would be the smart thing to do rather than let my warden die. So as you see his health has gone up to like half with that healing effect. Which is quite nice. So I'll let you regen then. So we've got, oh, there we've we got go. two we'll more of all. And a couple of convictions. Yeah, it's not too bad. Two more of alls and uh, the queen. The queen can be aggroed. The queen has 9.6k morale. So we're probably going to burst down a few of these guys. I imagine if you ambush the Queen then to give us a few seconds without her beating on us. And then just punish these Borables. Let, let me set up a uh, battle prep first as well, because that's going to be useful. Yeah, that'll do. I'm, right, going, ready. I'm going for the one on the right. Go for it. I will stun her whenever she gets... Uh, by the way... Oh, you, you hang on. No, 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 no. You can't, you can't pull the Queen without the other two. I was going to say, yeah. Listen, I did it on the LM, I just stunned through it, yeah? Okay. They must technically be out of aggro range now, then. But Unlike they, they were back they in the day. Count, yeah, they don't count as an aggro, uh, as a aggro group, yeah. Okay. Oh, look, more stuns. Do you want to get behind her? This isn't sound tank. No, she's immune to stun, sadly. Yeah, two of us can burn down quite easily. You can probably heal more damage than she's causing. If you pulled all three at once, it could be quite severe. You have slain Walker in. That was easy. Right. Are we just going to run out? Uh, I think we should just leg it out, yeah. Yeah, run away. Be a man and run away. Still haven't got any shiny loot like you, though. Oh, there we go, there's the ceiling gank. And another one. But 
But luckily this door we can run through. Sometimes these portal doors you can't get through while you're in combat, which can be a bit awkward if you didn't realise that and you suddenly run a mob train into there and then all of a sudden you're trapped. Uh, it's, it's a very quick death usually. It's usually a quick death, yeah. I think most of the ones in PvE you can do now. There's instance ones you usually can't. No, it's, it's generally just the ones in the dungeons, isn't it? Yeah, the instance ones you generally can't. But um, I think most of the world ones you can now. Okay, so from here then we're going to go north and do the gems then. I imagine you want that wood first. Oh yeah. Even though well, probably, we're probably, probably going to... Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, and there's, a, there's now a right there's now. A now. Oh. oh my god! Yeah, there's a few of them. You might, you might not want to... You know, oh, I'll, I'll get there we go. Get Touch and go. <laughs> there we go. Come a cool moment already. I don't know what you're doing. I could just hit at any moment, to be honest. But I'm just running around. They'll reset eventually. I don't want to go too far because I'm going to end up pulling the orcs. Rich platinum. I definitely want that. I'll tell you what. Assuming they've they've lost aggro on you. Oh hips. One of them's reset. All right, we've killed one of them. Better than nothing. Uh, I'll tell you what. We'll do blue this time. And just find attack. Both on full power, but whatever. Yeah, just show it off. Um, then we've done all four of them. Yeah, and it's the person, the person who uh, put in the initial colour is who, who gets the uh, the fancy little um, like spirit animal. The one we did rally cry. It is, yeah, but for some of the more advanced one, you can get multiple ones apply. You can, yeah, but for the basic ones, it, it's nothing yeah. as special. But each one of these has to be unlocked in order for you to kind of have it in your log. Uh, you can see the ones you've unlocked if you press K or get on your skills bar. Uh, and under the fellowship tab, you will see the four basic builders at the top. Then you'll see the categories. Uh, we, we can ride while I discuss this. Um, might as well just run through these mobs. Um, so we're going to have them separated by category. So length two flushes basically just means we will do the same colour. There's only four of those that we could possibly do, and it gives you a description for each one. And you can expand each of those, and it will tell you um, which icon it is. I'm not entirely sure what the difference is, but it's, yeah, uh, it's range and a tactical, but they both have the same icon. I'm having fun, yeah. I'll, I'll drop out Chris <laughs> I'll just leave him on the merry goose chase in the meantime. I'm just riding around you. <laughs> Yeah, their flushes are all the same colour, straight, or where you go round the wheel, either clockwise or anti-clockwise, and there's unique ones as well, which are there's a, special there's cases. Blade. blade beak here. There is a blade beak there, but I want, I want the orcs to reset. Yeah, yeah, you, you run, I'll kill There we are, easily set. Right, there we go. You're getting rubber banded at the moment. Just standing around smacking from behind. Yeah, it's eight. Nine for your one. And that's a spider, sadly. There is one up here on the cliff. I'm gonna shank him from stealth. Filthy ambush to stun him, so I might as well join him from behind and bang he's dead, there we go. What, what's silly is I forgot to activate Never Surrender as well. Oh, do you even need it? <laughs> yeah, it would have been helpful in that cave right. where I nearly died, yeah? You want to come up this way? Ah, oh, yeah, wrong bit. Yeah. So we keep going north. Uh, on the map, it's literally just going to be this road which heads through these ruins. Uh, we can skip most it, of these guys. I find it a bit of an odd place for this quest to be in terms of... Because you don't actually visit this camp itself until... Quite a bit later on. Yeah, that'd be, that'd you kind of beat the other side of this camp a lot later in the quest line, and yeah. it's kind of a bit out of the way, given that where you get it and where you actually do the quest are quite far apart. Ah, oh, yeah. Um, how do you want to do this? Do you want to just ride past everything and jump down? Yeah, that's what I usually do. Yeah. So these guys are obviously orange because they're level forty-four. They're slightly above us, but screw that. So we'll jump down here. Those guys. Hopefully, yep, yeah, they're not going to jump down after us. They're going to try running the long way round. Since they are still reset. in combat, they, they will eventually reset, but they will keep us in the combat in the meantime. But it doesn't matter too much. Uh, we'll just kill this orc. So what we need... Oh, we've got a new deed, Emity of the Goblins, which is a hobbit's racial trait. 
Uh, what we need in this place is these three chests of the goblin gems. So there's three on this side. Actually, no, there's four on this side. There's four on this a, side. There's a few more in the next room as well. Uh, yeah, next room over is where the last couple are. But we need six in total, only six to do. Guy's actually doing a fair good job on me. I don't like him. Okay, I'll go for a green. So a good thing about conjunctions is if a mob dies while you're doing a conjunction, if you're doing greens or blues, they will still go off. If Last you're doing the, the reds exactly. and yellows, yeah, they, they won't trigger even if the mob dies. Which they don't really need to because the mob's dead anyway, but whatever. Still a waste of a conjunction. It's still a waste of a conjunction, but if you're trying to save somebody's life, like I was for myself there, then it still works. Because just because you see mob, one mob doesn't necessarily mean there's not ten others bashing your face. One in. to the left. Yep. Stupid goblin rooting me. Yeah, these these guys are still at level 44, so it's a bit random that quest. It's going to send you to a higher level place. It's a bit it, tough it, to get to for a solo one, but it is marked as a small fellowship, so yeah, you can get what you get. And last one's over the other side. I think we might end up aggroing this sapper though on the way around. He's gonna run you down maybe. Nah, that's alright. He doesn't care about me, I'm already, I'm already I gone. I don't know why he's running around like a lunatic anyway, carrying a bomb, particularly near fire, because that seems a bit counterproductive. Eh, goblin. Health and safety doesn't exist. Okay. Alright, that so that's six be, then. That's the full hold. So I suppose we might as well cut away then and uh, meet everyone back at the camp. <laughs>